Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome to episode 1. Today we're taking a look at a game called Lost Castle. Lost Castle has been out for a little while and I usually do these on newer games, but I haven't had the chance to do any LPs on Lost Castle and it came out actually quite a while back, but it popped up on Chrono GG today for only 7 bucks. So if you're interested, you can check the links below in the description. It's only on sale for today. I am partnered with Chrono GG, so I do get a kickback if you use my promotional link. If you're not cool with that, the game is still available for sale without using my promotional link. But uh, it does help to support the channel. So anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Uh, the basic consensus of this is a game that's sort of like Rogue Legacy and sort of like Castle Crashers. Uh, it feels like Castle Crashers, but it has the same mechanics of Rogue Legacy, if that makes any sense. Uh, so you see here that a little grid that you can get upgrades we'll get into that in just a little minute but uh, right now we'll just go for it so it starts you with a random hero with kind of like a random loadout and it's gonna feel a lot like castle crashers here um, I happen to have a couple of daggers here like a twin dagger set I've already found an apple we could use that as a consumable to um, to much on. So I got a couple of things that are unlocked here and when you talk to them thanks for releasing me <laughs> I'm the blacksmith. I can fight demons, but I can offer you, I can fight demons, but I can offer you some weapons. So I can get steel sword from him. Uh, the seal, the these daggers are going to be minus six in attack, minus three in defense, plus five. I don't know actually. Oh, the steel sword is actually an upgrade. Okay, I see what's going on now. So basically, when you unlock these, you could get some different items to start out as. And the consensus is you'll you'll die quite often going through the runs uh, and you're made to die going through the runs but each time you get um, you'll see that I have some icons right underneath my life bar at the top and one is like money and currency and another one is going to be for some sort of energy that I need to sacrifice uh, for power-ups and that was that grid screen that you saw earlier well that actually gets sacrificed down to zero, sort of like the Rogue Legacy mechanic uh, from before. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Uh, I'm not used to this uh, this loadout right here. But um, you get quite a bit of that stuff, but it goes back to zero after every time you start again. So let, let me actually use some of this really quickly. There we go. That'll help me out a little bit. Alright, so basically, after you power up a little bit, you get stronger and you can get further into the run, which allows you to pop up and get more stuff, and so on and so forth. So it's all about dying, powering up, and using the power-ups that you've gotten to try to get further, accumulate more currency, and unlock more stuff. So it's actually a really, really neat concept. Rogue Legacy was uh, a lot of fun for its time, and it's been on sale over and over again for a long time. I didn't see what this was actually but I already have four of the energy that I need to unlock I'm not sure what it's called or whatever but um, oh that's my special unknown potion let's try it my retirement fund no what happened give me my money back apparently it stole something from me oh this thing might take some money from me yeah it did this thing's gonna suck all the money that I get oh that sucks he is taking my money as I go <laughs> that really stinks man well, I don't have any money left. Okay, he's gone now. Perfect. Get the wooden chest. Oh, we got a boomerang? I don't think I've ever used that before. Let's see. It's a consumable, so I'll wait. Let me go ahead and use these really quick. Get me some apples. Alright. And we have a couple ways that we can go. We'll go this way first. Alright, let's try out the boomerang, shall we? Oh, snap! <laughs> that was great. Alright, if I can line these guys up, I could do a pretty good special attack. I think. Ouch. I'm gonna die right here. Oh, man. I'm still not real good at the game. So anyway, I got a little bit of power-ups as I go, so let's see what that menu is all about. I'll show you guys how that works. So as you can see, I have five, okay? And you can unlock, everything has a different cost associated with it and you're not real sure what it is. Um, I can unlock, blacksmith will provide new weapons at the time, cost 24, I guess these are big upgrades to it. Uh, the third cell key, which I haven't unlocked yet, costs nine, and these cost 
nine to get the different statistics. So unfortunately, I don't have enough. I don't have enough to get any of them. So I'm gonna have to just get out of here. And when you sacrifice, when you go through with it, it gives it all back to you. And Rogue Legacy was just like that. So you basically just gave away all the currency that you accumulated. All right. So let's see here. I can get that weapon again. I can check the chest out again. Stolen goods. That does give me a few things to start with here. Also some money. And I could start with the iron sword. Oh, this is a new weapon, a flintlock. An ordinary flintlock pistol, attack plus 10. Skill reload. Ah, uh, okay, so let's see here. Not bad. Okay, and if you use the Y button, I'm using the Xbox controller here. You use the Y button, it just skips back. And uh, I'm guessing... Oh, that gives me like... Maybe it's some special shots. I'm going to wait to use those. Oh, and it doesn't look like... Well, let's... Let's use it right now. Oh, so it crits when you do it. Very nice. So that's pretty cool. And your skill just refills. We never fought skeletons either. So everything is kind of like randomly generated. The levels are the same. The monsters can change up. Well, the levels are different. And the monsters can change up as well. Um... I'm not sure about paths and secrets and stuff like that, but I know some areas will probably have more treasure than others. And it incentivizes you to break everything. As well as this looks like it's a little spawner. They're coming out of that hole, man. Very good. Okay, we're through. Beautiful. And we got a chest for completing the room. Silver chest. Wow, look at that sword, man. Mithril broadsword. Two-handed. We got bombs. That's good. All right, what the sword is? Why you throw it down? It comes out of your hand. No, your hands come off your body. I see. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. Okay, what's the special for it? I don't even know. Oh, I think I got like a little shield or something. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can chop this down. Huge stone wall. It doesn't look sturdy. Maybe we could blow it up. Well, I do have a bomb. Let's try that, y'all. Uh, it kind of blew up. I need another bomb to get through, I guess. Let's go down here and see if we can find any. Uh-oh. Oh, they're, they're taking cover, and there's bats, too. I haven't fought bats yet. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to try that on them. Ha-ha! <laughs> Suckers! Watch out, they throw it. They, they shooting cannons at me, man. Uh-oh. That bomb hurt. All right. <laughs> that is OP, man. I love it. All right, give me that sapphire. It does passive damage when I let it loose. All right, wooden chest. Give me a topaz. I can break all this stuff and get possible money. I don't know if breaking the barricades can give you anything. I don't know. Let's see. I'll just break another one and see. All right, nothing yet. So if we get anything from future ones or whatever, that's cool. All right, we got a little bit of money. We got some more bananas. Let's refill some health before I get too overwhelmed here. We'll start with the apples. And we'll go with the bananas. All right, we are full again. Beautiful. All right, so we're up to nine. So we have successfully done a run to where we can actually spend money on stuff. A flamboyant robe gives me some defense and stuff. Uh, awesome attack, that's cool. Look at me, haha. <laughs> Beautiful, I'm all dressed up. All of this goes away by the, uh, by the way at the end of the run. Ouch, oh my god that hurt. Dude, all right. There is a knight. I was trying to use my special. It's harder than it looks, apparently. Come on, I'm ready for you. <laughs> oh, dude, he's strong. 
Yes, we got him. All right, we're up to 15 now. That's wonderful. There's another one of those guys over there. Hold on, I'm eating apples and stuff before I, I get involved in all that. Can we break this thing? No, it doesn't look like it. It just says crack, crack, crack. All right, we're up to 16 now. This is not going to be enough money. Charge! Charge! Okay, we got him. Oh, give me some food, man. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, there we go. I'm still kind of trying to get used to the controls. You can't get stuff from barrels. There we go. Apple. Beautiful. This will be a little bit easier to, to swing now. Okay, so we can go down again. There's also some barrels over here. Get a little bit more money. All right, let's head down. A boss. Yeah. <laughs> he just noticed me. King of Goblin. All right, run. It said. Oh man, there's traps. Oh God, no, 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 no! Oh, wait, it, it broke down. I could hit it. Oh! <laughs> I died like a son of a gun. Well, I'm glad I got pretty far, though. And that's what it's all about anyway, right? Okay, so I got 19. Oh, I could spend... Uh, Every thief needs to be able to disappear quickly. Next level move speed plus one. All right, so basically these can go up to level 10 and it looks like uh, to improve your strength, you can uh, improve your abilities. We're gonna open the key to the third cell first. That's gonna be the, the thing that we do next. So the cost is going to get greater and greater and greater. Now it costs 11 for everything, which we don't have enough for um, we have only 10 so the bad thing is we have to sacrifice that all over again <laughs> and go through another run but I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to the g gameplay um, the game it, by itself is is a lot of fun so far and like I said it's on sale today so grab it if you like it if not guys we'll see you next time for episode one I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos thanks so much for watching as always this is Ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time